If you've been keeping up with our videos, you'll recall we were going to do a CV joint on the wife's fan, which we've already done. The video is out. And we also had to take a quick trip before I could do the CV joint. Come back home, hadn't retorqued the wheel, and because of that, actually wrecked one of the studs. So we've got a new one here, uh, ready to put it in. Look how easy that turns. It just spins like super swift and super easy. Let's see how hard it is though to swap it in case you end up breaking one. Let's try and save some money. Hey, it's Uncle Mark here again. A uh, long time no see, I know. I'd even marked it for our travels just in case with some black felt uh, to retorque them just in case, you know, there was a problem and I'd know it was loose or it was going to break or something. It seems to have hung on okay, but we can't keep it like that. I'll show you where you can jack under here. I usually use right here this uh, mount through the subframe. Perfect place to stick your jack under there, center it in the middle. It's got that bolt in the middle too, so it's not going to fall off, but center it, you know, and just jack. It's going to be a little bit tough at the start there because you can't move your this very much. But we have a nice hoist for that. Get it up high and be careful. itself on that. There we go. You can use your wheel wrench. I've got a 19 millimeter. I've already loosened them a little bit when they were on the ground. So we'll be able to just take them off here. Try and do this in real time if at all possible. Talking to a buddy of mine the other day and he was saying he's never had this trouble where the lug nuts have come kind of loose after putting them on the first time. He usually gets a shop to do it. And he'll go back, you know, after so many clicks and get them to retorque them and he says they never move. And I told him I think it is because they don't torque them when they first put them on. They just go maximum so then they don't fall off and then you go back and he goes, really? And he says, yep. Yeah. Have you ever seen some of those tire shops? or whatever, there's zing, 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 and it's just on full, tight as it can be. Get rid of that. Uh, somewhere in there. Uh, heavy. So this is bottom one. Take a look a little closer. So that's what it should look like. This is what this one looks like, if I can see the gouge in it. Kind of hard to, hard to get the lighting right, but anyway, you can see there's something wrong with it the right kind of light compared to the, the rest. Let's see how hard that's going to be to get it out of here. I've got it in neutral. I'm just going to try and rotate this to the top somewhere so I can see it. I was wondering if there's enough room to knock it out past here without taking all this stuff off. I'm thinking probably not, but we'll try. I was hoping I could just knock it out, but look how long this thing is here. Like, this is a pretty long piece. There's no way I'm getting that out of the back. I think what we're going to do is just pull this little caliper off. I'm just going to do these. I'm going to take these two bolts off that hold the whole caliper housing and everything. Let's do that. So I'll show you where the bolts are there. There's one right up here on the caliper on the back. You see it right there. And then there's one below here. 
right there. Where is it? Here it is. Now, what's binding up now? Am I going the wrong way? It should go this way. This would help if I loosen it instead of tightening it, huh? Still a bit oily here from uh, when the CV joint boot broke, remember? Never cleaned it up. I'll just take it to the car wash and clean this up one day. My fingers are going to be all dirty now. Let's get this top one here too. I can see a little better. This should just pop right off of here, we're hoping. Cord. We're going to try and strap it around the CV joint. Brakes kind of on. Oh, come on, baby. I think we need help. The screwdriver in here is probably a little bit loose. Oh, never thought of it. Actually, everything's going to come off. Well, that's not what I was thinking. That makes more sense. Oh, man. Hmm. I have to hang this with my bungee cord. That way, I'm not gonna rip any lines. Pull this baby off. There we go. I guess that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> And slide you in here, you can see what I'm doing from this kind of angle. I'm just gonna rotate this a little bit till I can, yeah, clear. I don't know what I'm clearing. Will it fit in there? That's not the one. Where is it? Not much room here, but here, I think we can do it. Let's see if we can get that baby off in there. I'm just trying to get the string to lock, and it won't. Well, that came out easy enough. See the difference in thread? Not in the color, but how it's just gouged out here, huh? Look at that. I don't think it hurt the rim or anything, just that part. Anyway, that should be that easy to put back in, I'm hoping. Stick it in there. I think we can put a, the nuts on them and pull it. Unless I can just tap it, but I don't think I can tap it. Let me get some stuff. So this is my little parts collection. So here's the stud we're trying to put back on. It goes in there, but I, as you can see, I can't push it all the way in, so we're gonna have to draw it in. I've got one of these and a couple of washers. If you're wondering what that is, it's a part off of, I put a fifth wheel trailer hitch in my truck way back, and it was an extra piece, and I hung onto it, and you'll see how that can actually be handy. Let's we rotate this onward in a different gear. Okay, I just threw it into neutral, so I'm gonna turn this thing. I'll put it closer to you, hopefully that's a little better. I'm gonna use this piece as a spacer, I'm gonna sit it on there. Couple washers. Hmm, maybe that's already too much. That might be enough. I think I'm gonna put this on this way. This on here. Does that make sense? And then I'm hoping to turn it and draw it in. Got my big bar here. Well, I think it's gonna work. I guess we should have it in park. Let me put it in park. There you go, that might be a little easier. Yeah, she's going in. Big bar on this. The creaking is the seat I'm sitting on. Sitting on a 
floor rolling seat. How are we doing? Oh, we got a little more, huh? <laughs> Looks like we're pretty much right there. Hey, that idea worked. I just didn't want the nut. I think it was going to bottom out. Because usually there's a wheel and... Ooh, that's warm. Anyway, it's on there. Wow. Cool. Let's try and put this baby back together. So we'll put that on. And then, try and put on our... Caliper with our brakes. Hopefully they've they're gonna go on there. I have to spread these apart a little bit. All right, let's put this back on here for a minute. Get something to spread them apart. Just popped open the hood. I'm just gonna put my brake cap off. Give it some room to breathe as I push fluid back into it. It's got one of these cheap brake spreader tools here. I think I got it at Princess Auto. I don't know what I paid for it. Not very much money. 10 bucks, 15 bucks, I don't know. It'll make it a little easier. Stick it in between the calipers. Oh, I need a little more. I think you can kind of see how it's on. Uh, it's like a breakout, am I? Better take them both. I don't want to break one. That's the back one. Should be able to just. Oh no, it's gonna be too much. Just goes in like that. Oh, maybe it's gonna go go like this. Yeah, I've never used this one before. Yeah, it's gonna give me grief, is it? Hard to do all this and try and take a picture too, or your uh, video. Ideally, it should work a little better than this, but hopefully I'm not pushing that sideways. And it could be. <clears throat> Try to put these guys back in. This was the back one, right? Then we got the front one. Room. Grease on my hands again from that. I didn't clean the last job up. You can just see it all over there. Hmm. Let's set that there. Maybe I need this on here. Much better idea. Now I'm thinking. Just not enough, is it? Huh. <clears throat> Piston is gonna fight me all the way.
There we go. Okay. <coughs> Excuse my coughing. <coughs> One of the bolts. Where is the other guy here? There's no way it can be lined up. I think it's going in. Yep. Top one while they do the bottom one. Man. And what they would have charged to do this? It's got to be an hour. Everything's an hour, right? Plus shop supplies and that. So whatever. <clears throat> Here in Canada, we're uh, north of Winnipeg a little bit. So our country, I don't know, 110 bucks an hour is what the other guys are charging. Unless you're a small shop, a lot of them are doing the 80 or 90 bucks, which is kind of nice. But and they're as good as anybody. They could have done this. Guess we need to be going the right way. Hard to tell under here. I don't know how much time we've spent in it. Of course, there's going to be some editing of the video. You know, you'd allow, let's see, let's, let's see, uh, tack on another 15 minutes to whatever this time is going to be. I'm sure that wouldn't be unreasonable. That's because, you know, I started, stop, move the camera, get another tool, start, stop. Brakes turn. So is that for, I know I always say torque them to whatever. I don't know what the torque is on this. Just a guy could fuck it up. It's not like it's gonna fall off like a wheel maybe. I'm making it pretty tight. I just don't wanna break them right now. I'm looking for the calipers. Well, seems pretty tight. A couple more taps, maybe. I think I'm not hitting it very hard, so. That's good. Take my little bungee cords, cord out. These are really good for holding stuff up. There you go. Let's put the wheel back on and we're done. Probably wonder what this rim looks like, aren't you? Just because it chewed that out. I'm wondering too. Uh, let me grab you guys closer. Might have been this one. Maybe just a little bit of a ridge in there. Yeah. Oh well, it's not bad though. I could have been a lot worse than that. Shoot it out, I'm shocked. Just, ouch. 
because I don't know, my hands are getting dirty, probably should be using some kind of protection. There's probably a joke in there somewhere. I'm going to filter, use my brain, and not say what I was thinking. Anyway, don't want to get cancers or nothing, so it would be a good idea to wear some gloves, which I just have not too far away. In fact, I have the box under the van. Why am I sitting there? Well, I used it to prop up the camera a little bit so you can see better the angle that I was working on. <laughs> yes. There's actually gloves in there. Mark, 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 mark. So do you think you could do this? Didn't take really any kind of special tools, did it? It took, what size is this? I think this is a 19, isn't it? Yes, 19 millimeter socket, uh, 21 millimeter wrench for the the big guys in the back there. What was the 19 for? I think I just grabbed it. I think it was just 21 millimeter. That was it. Let's torque these guys up. Safety first, right? Nice to get a torque wrench. They're cheap. You can buy them. I bought this at Princess Auto here in Canada. I think I paid. Ooh, I'm guessing, hey, it could have been 75 bucks. I think they're cheaper now. No, it's Canadian, too. I'm just doing, uh, I don't know, 30 foot-pounds maybe first. I just want it to go on nice and straight. Like I said, this buddy I was talking to says, oh, he's never had these come off. It's because some of those guys, they've got an air wrench on there, and they just go, Whoa! The first one right to the end and then the same with the others and they're not torqued to, to spec. Of course when you get off a flat one day on the road, you'll never get that baby off. That was about 70 foot pounds. It's going to go straight to the 110 is what we're going to do. These are aluminum rims so Crisscross pack pattern, right? Just in time for mama to go shopping. What did that cost us? Well, a little bit of time. I'm not sure exactly how much, but let's say it took you an hour. You've saved, what, 110 bucks? Maybe more? 150 bucks, probably. There's the old one. I got it from the napper. Napa Auto Parts, it cost, I think it was about $16. I looked online, Rock Auto, I think it was going to be about 8 bucks for this. But they wanted another 8 bucks to ship it to me. So I figured let's just grab it from Napa. And it's done. Let's not forget to put our brake fluid reservoir cap back on. Just that I wasn't fighting with it when I was pushing I was pushing the, the caliper apart. Thinking while I got the hood open, Mrs. Mark's not gonna check this, so let's check and see. Ooh, it looks like it's right in the right spot. It's supposed to be right. Or is it? Can you see or can I see? Oh, let's flip around. There we go. Kind of hard to see, isn't it? The hash mark is stops right there. I can actually see the, the hash mark through the oil. Nice and clean. Good job. Good for another while. So let's just let her down. We'll go for a quick little test drive just to make sure nothing's making noise. Okay, so far no noises, other than the typical caravan noises. These things are loud. And this is the, well, it's an SXT, so it's kind of the, pretty much top of the line, I think. Well, second from the top. 
maybe. Anyway, it wasn't the bottom cheapy cheapy, but it seems okay. Yeah, we're gonna be good. Always good to test them anyway, just in case. You never know, you might have some noises or issues. Better to find out now. Let's turn around here. Signal, U-turn. Anyway, with a few tools, we saved ourselves a little bit of money. It didn't take that long. I was doing it on my day off, or half of my day off. So, Next time you have some little problem, I have, you see how easy it is to take the brakes off too. I just moved the two bolts there and pulled the whole caliper and the housing there. That seemed to work well. Bungee cord, couple tools. And Mrs. Mark's gonna be happy. I, actually, I think she forgot all about it already. Cause it wasn't making any noise, so. Yeah, it's gonna be good. So there you have it. Hopefully it was an easy one to follow. Kind of nice to almost see the live, like how much time it's actually really going to take. Because sometimes you see these things and it, they show you in five minutes. I know I didn't show you in full real time, but I tried my best. So if you need to replace one of those studs, it's that easy. Uh, it just cost me a couple bucks. And if you like the video, why not subscribe? There's, you never know what I'm going to be fixing. It's always going to be something on my own because I'm just a guy at home trying to save a couple bucks. You can also, if you hit subscribe, don't forget to ring the bell too, because that'll give you every episode that I put out. And sometimes they're pretty amazing. Sometimes.